We started the company to solve our own problem. And I think that's something that cannot be stressed enough because a lot of innovation in this space is just solutions looking for a problem. The origination and the development of Latin came out through conversations that I had with Mauricio about the different experiences we had growing up with money. I'm from Venezuela and the way I got into Bitcoin was not because I found it, but my family found it first. So in my lifetime, there's been 14 zeros wiped out of my currency. That's the number of zeros in a trillion. All of my friends were leaving the country and with really depressed faces, except for my brother. I went to ask him what he was doing with a lot of skepticism. He says, I'm mining Bitcoin. I asked him to show me. He made me give him my address to get some money into my bank account. Money hits my bank account. In the context of not being able to buy dollars, non-perishables, nothing. And at that point, when I saw how Bitcoin could transact in that hostile of an environment, that's when all the light bulbs went off. When Mauricio and I first decided to set up a Bitcoin mine in Canada, at that time, the only choice we had was to sell Bitcoin and convert it to dollars to be able to pay these mining expenses. Banks didn't even have comfort in servicing basic bank account services for Bitcoin, let alone offering a loan. So a situation where there was not enough capital that wanted to in invest uh, in Bitcoin mining and lots of people that wanted to hold Bitcoin and so the idea of financing a Bitcoin mining operation was, was pretty interesting. We iterated a lot through many conversations and launched Canada's first Bitcoin back loan in 2018. And then through that realized that we had something that again, Bitcoin is a global asset. So why were we limiting it to Canada? There were people in other regions of the world who it was equally or arguably far more useful for. And then we didn't need to limit it to mining uh, either. 87% of the world lives under an authoritarian regime. They have no democracy. What kind of hope for fair banking can they have? 87% of the world. It's easy for us sitting at the 13% of the world to say, oh, money works. Money's not broken. Why do you need Bitcoin? But many times that's just financial privilege speaking. The fact that someone in Venezuela can walk up to a Venezuelan bank and open a Venezuelan bank account, he's not banked in the same way that a Canadian is or that an American is. That bank account can be taken away from them any day. And it does, and it happens all the time. Because banked outside of the US and Canada is just temporarily banked. I can't explain to you how empowering that is for that person when they log onto their screen and they say, welcome Miguel to your Latin platform. This is how many dollars you have. This is how much interest you've made. This is how much you can get approved for, for a loan, Miguel. Life-changing. When we were trying to look for a name, we were trying to look for a name that was short and clever and connected in some way to the Bitcoin community and to what we wanted to do. I got to thinking about the term uh, hodling. So hodl uh, is, is a term that's used within the Bitcoin community to describe holding Bitcoin. The name Lenin came up, which was simply just switching the D and the N, and it was still the verb. It was to lend, like it is to hold. So we let in so you can hodl. So we lend so you can hold. Our first clients at Lenin were uh, our friends, our family, when people choose to work with Lenin, many times they are entrusting us with their highest or the most precious asset. And to us, that's an immense uh, privilege and, and we see that as a big responsibility as well. Many clients in LATAM have told us that this is the first time they've been approved for a loan. And the piece that was impactful for I think us as a team was not so much Great, that's good financially, but what that means for a person's like self-esteem as well. I think, you know, just back to the fact that this is a service that hasn't existed uh, because of the traditional underwriting standards that banks use, and now they can access lending through this alternative method is it, very empowering. We had uh, a, a VC investor ask us why we were lending at the same terms to all of our clients uh, globally. They said, well, you know, can't you charge a high rate of interest to someone, say, in Mexico or Colombia because that's the rate that they're used to paying into the teens or 20s or, you know, even 30s for interest. Why are you not charging that? And we recently we kind of looked at each other and we were like, so like taken aback. And it's like, you don't get it. Like, we, like, do you understand what we're trying to do here? Like the whole point of the business is you're starting with the exact same asset. Bitcoin is the same. It doesn't care who you are, where you're from, what language you speak, what religion you are, it does not care. 
it is the exact same to everybody globally. And because that, when somebody has it in their possession, they can access the same financial services. And that's the whole uh, you know, ethos of what we're trying to do is to equalize that. Because of our experiences, our collective experiences, the conviction in what we do is unshakable. Because there's so much, um, so much of an immigrant base within Ledin, we all had to escape the consequences of broken money. I think that if you combine all of these things together, you get to this unshakable force, which is, I think, the fire that, that essentially burns why we want to do this so badly. Where I think Ledin plays a very key role is by connecting your digital assets into your real world experience and making that digital asset enhance your day-to-day -day life. Wanting to buy a house, wanting to buy a car, wanting to pay for groceries. The more we can bridge your digital wealth and convert that into a real life experience or an enhancement to your day-to-day, -day, that's where I think we're, we're gonna want to play. What it means to me is, is helping as many people as we can and equalizing financial services across the world. I love the, the ability to treat everyone the same way, regardless where they are in the world.